Bravo Kol, Shalom. Welcome to Patrabal. Thank you. Uh, we are here on a very special occasion. Tell Absolutely. us what we just uh, experienced. Well, we are now exactly in a very um, exciting event. This is Chag HaMusika Israelit, the first of the Israeli music. And uh, it's very exciting. Now it's the new year, uh, the new Jewish year, Rosh Hashanah. And we are celebrating three days of uh, contemporary Israeli music. And, uh, I just All over the country. All over the country, yes. We are here in Tel Aviv. We are here in the Tel Aviv Museum. And I just participated in a wonderful opera called The Jubilee, Hayovel by Abel Ehrlich. Uh, and uh, his son, Danny Ehrlich, directed the opera. The opera is after a play of Chekhov. And, uh, well, I played the role of a bank manager. Yes, a male bank manager. Yes. How is it for a woman to play a male, to, uh, be a, to have a male role? Well, it's uh, very challenging. And uh, the most wonderful thing about it is that later on, after the performance, I come back being a woman. I really like that. Uh, there is a whole uh, genre of uh, women in opera who are uh, playing men's role. It's called the uh, pants role. For example, uh, Cherubino mm -hmm. or uh, Octavian. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually it's women who have a uh, mezzo-soprano voice. Like you. Like me. Yes, and uh, yes, it's very, very challenging and it's very fun. I can really go wild with it and uh, be very different than my uh, usual life. That sounds fascinating. It is. And uh, tell me uh, about you and uh, the Jubilee of uh, Abel Ehrlich. What uh, is your connection to it? How do, you, how do you connect to this piece? your history with it. Yes, well, actually, when the piece premiered 15 years ago, I was still a student, a voice student, and I participated in the premiere of this opera, and I played another Here role. Here in Tel Aviv? Here in Tel Aviv, at the Tel Aviv Museum, but in the other hall. This okay. hall is a new hall. And uh, it's very exciting for me now to participate again in a different role. Uh, now it is 10 years that uh, Abel Ehrlich uh, has passed away and... Um, Did you get to know him personally? Yes, like, absolutely, 15 years ago. He was involved in He was preparing involved and yes. Do you want to say a few words about the man? How he was personally I mean, for you? Well, he was one of the most uh, famous and one of the most important, not only composers, but uh, composing teachers and uh, one of the most appreciated uh, composers and musicians of the uh, Israeli music history. And uh, for me it's very important as an Israeli artist to, um, to participate as much as possible, to be, to be as much as possible involved in Israeli music. And Israeli music and Jewish music. Israeli Israel music and right? Jewish music as well. Tell me a little bit about the importance for the, uh, of this for you. Well, it's important for me, first of all, as a human being, of who I am. I am uh, Israeli, I live here, and uh, it's important for me to contribute uh, to, to the Israeli culture. And it's also important for me personally to know my roots, to, to, to understand myself better. So uh, this is something uh, very important for me. Um, well, Last question. In yes. your career as a mezzo-soprano, which is a high and rising career, what are your next plans in Israel and abroad? What are your hopes and wishes and that pragmatic plans? Well, actually, I'm very excited. We just uh, met the manager of the Israeli Music Institute, and in a few weeks, uh, a new CD is going to be wow. pub published. Yes, and I was invited by the Israeli. Um, Music Institute to record a, a disc in Yiddish, talking about Israeli and Jewish music mm -hmm. by Leibo Levin. And uh, it's very exciting to hear this music, which usually is, uh, people uh, usually listen to it or uh, perform it as traditional music, to hear it in a more operatic voice. Mm -hmm. uh, and I found the material absolutely uh, as challenging and as interesting as a leader, as classical leader. So it was very interesting to, 
to record this role and I'm really looking forward for that. Wow, so it will be out in the market in a few weeks? Yes, in a few weeks. Okay, what is it called? It's called Shirei uh, Leibo Levim, Longina Star of Leibo Levim. Yes. Okay. yes. A small autumn song or tune. Tune. or tune. tune. We're still looking for the perfect uh, right. translation for that. Okay, wow. Yes. So yes. Thank you very much thank for this you interview. Very much. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Uh, congratulations for the disc. Thank you very much. And for the wonderful, wonderful uh, piece we just heard of the Abel Ehrlich, the Jubilee. Thank you. Thank you.